हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हियर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस माई टूडे इज प्रोजेक्ट इज अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस गॉडशियस डेकोपाज और ट्रांसफर मी सर्विंग ट्रे कैन यू सी द ब्यूटिफुल शीन येस दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द रेजिन कोटिंग सो ऑल्सो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कोट विद द रेजिन एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट द टेक्स्चर ऑन द बॉर्डर्स so without any delay let's start with the procedure so here i'm taking this beautiful mdf tray this is quite sturdy having 6 mm thickness and this measures approx 28 by 21 cm that is a4 size tray now i'm covering the base using buttermilk chalk paint by little birdie first i'm spreading this using flat brush since i am using transfer me so we need to coat the base even if you are doing the deco patch you need to coat the base using the color matching with your paper so that the design on the deco patch or transfer me will more enhance now i am spreading the color evenly using piece of sponge so that you will not get any brush strokes or brush marks and it will give you very nice finishing Now the base is done. Then I am just coloring the edges using pink fuchsia chalk paint. This is by Kadans. You can use any brand chalk paint. I am using only which I have, and I am trying to match the colors with my transfer me sheet. So just carefully do the coloring on the edges. and just complete it on all four sides from inside the tray so this is done now i am going to do some texture work on the outer side of the tray so here i am using this beautiful floral pattern stencil by i craft and using the little birdie texture paste i am going to make the texture you can also use handmade texture paste i have already given the tutorial how to create texture paste at home if you didn't watch that video yet i have given link in description box you can check there so just apply the texture paste slowly and spread it using spatula or palette knife like this and fill all the small small portions completely now just remove the stencil slowly and see how beautiful this is looking just clear and clean the edges and then start working with the next portion so the texture work is done and it's completely dried and now i am going to color on top of this using green color chalk paint 
This chalk paint is by iCraft. Allow it to dry completely. Now I am going to color the top edge of the tray using gold chalk paint. You can also use gold acrylic color or gold wax. And this is done now I'm going to add some gold wax on top of the stencil or texture design to enhance the beauty of this little more you can also use a dry brushing technique using gold chalk paint if you don't have gold wax so just take little wax on your finger and spread it on the design and it will come out really very nice like this now I'm just adding some stones in the center of the flower just to decorate it little bit more because my today's theme of the tray is Mughal or related to royal so I just wanted to add some blink And now on the back side of the tray also I am coloring with the same green color chalk paint it is very necessary to color the back as well for the complete finishing of the tray so just give a one coat of any chalk paint on back side as well So this is done, allow it to dry. Then our tray is completely ready to do the transfer me work. So here I am using the beautiful transfer me by dress my craft called Mughal Queen. And it is very very beautiful so you just need to peel the top film and just put your sheet upside down facing to the tray and stick it very carefully from the corner. I have cut the transfer me according to the inner size of the tray before doing the transfer me work. Now just stick it very well using your hand and then you need to wet this transfer me. So I am just spraying little water and sponging it using sponge on all the corners so that it will get stuck with the base properly and the upper paper will come out easily. So be patient and do it very carefully and slowly slowly try to pull the paper from one corner. If it is not ready to transfer then you just need to add little more water and press it little more. Don't do it in hurry otherwise your design will get spoiled. It's still not ready so you have to do it very carefully just check that this is coming out or not 
and if not then add little more water and then push it and in this way just transform it to the base and stick it very well using sponge And tada, your design is ready. Allow it to dry completely for one hour. Then it's dried. Now I am just doing the varnish work using this varnish by Cadence. This is an acrylic varnish which is water based. You can use Mod Podge or any kind of decoupage varnish as well. Now light to dry completely and our base is ready. Now it's time to pour the resin. So here I have used 4 parts of clear resin and 2 parts of hardener and just mixed it very well. I am using the resin by Little Birdie. Now just pour the clear resin on top of the transformy sheet and then spread it slowly using any spatula or spoon evenly on the tray And allow it to dry completely for 24 hours so I have kept it for one day and it's completely cured and dried and can you see the beautiful glass effect shine on the tray it's looking just a ready-made tray so you can make these kind of trays to gift it in any occasions and it's looking fabulous similar kind I have created this beautiful coaster this is MDF coaster I have just colored it with white chalk paint and first I have decoupage with this floral print and added the resin on top of this so in this way you can make the different designs coasters tray in your own way so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching Bye-bye.